You're listening to the Conduit to Can Do It podcast, the show that shares riveting real life stories curated from startup entrepreneurs and innovators to Fortune 100 corporate leaders who found ways to navigate their path to success. I'm your host, Dennis G. Shaver, founder of Conduit to Can Do It. And you'll hear firsthand accounts how our special guests have turned their bottlenecks into breakthroughs and triumphs, sharing their insider methods, strategies, and roadmaps that will inspire powerful transformations. So you feel you've got an amazing idea for a new product. Perhaps you feel it could be a million dollar idea and your question is, what's now, what's next? Is the market really ready for your new product concept? Folks, I've worked with plenty of aspiring entrepreneurs who had great new product ideas, yet didn't know the true potential until they discovered how to first conduct effective research, then determine market viability. Failure of a new product in the marketplace can result in extremely negative impact on you and your business strategy. New product development is both an art and a science that doesn't come without its share of inherent risk. To reduce the potential of this effect, strategy is key. Knowing how to conduct market research before the release of a new product to determine if it's viable and likely to appeal to your market is of most importance. Here are just a few uh, factors to consider that can help you determine whether your idea is worth pursuing in the marketplace or not. One is determine your target market customer. Now this is really key. First of all, the most essential factor to consider is your market. Are there enough people out there willing to part with their hard earned money to buy, use, and enjoy your new product? Market research is crucial to the success of any product and should be fully evaluated before you even start talking to manufacturers, consider getting the patent, or even developing a prototype. You must define your audience, understand their unmet needs, what they're interested in, your competitors, define your value proposition, and other key metrics. How will you know if your product will do a better job at what others are doing out there as compared to what yours can do? How do you find out? Consider using things like keyword planning tools on Google or Google Trends to help you better understand the target market landscape. The other thing is, is that does it make sense to pursue your new invention or new product idea? You want to make money, right? That's the whole point of bringing a product to market. And if it doesn't make financial sense, it doesn't make sense at all. Pricing your new product includes pinpointing your target customer identifying what the competitors are charging, how they are perceived, what is the target market willing to pay for your new idea, understanding the relationship between quality, features, benefits, and price. If you feel your product may be too expensive to produce or the space is too crowded with lower priced rivals, you might want to pivot or adjust your idea, add some unique features, and also find ways to create significant benefits and value that surpasses what's already in the market. The other thing is define your unique value proposition. While there's nothing wrong with jumping on a trend to make profits for lasting results, you need something wholly unique that brings value to the purchaser. How will your product make their lives better? How will they come to define it in their eyes? Your value proposition should offer guidance for your new product strategy, so consider picking a clear set of pain points that, to address the form of your product benefits. It's these things that can help you stand out in even the most crowded markets. Make sure that you have a clear understanding of your product's advantage before moving forward. And at the end of the day, you owe it to yourself and your business to be relentless in determining your product viability. There is only so much you can do to determine product viability based on what you know. Navigating the world of product development takes skill, guidance, and even a good mentor to help you effectively navigate the product development journey to get it from your mind to the market and hopefully pave the path to profit. Remember, how you determine your product viability could be the difference between success or failure of your new product journey. Preparation and understanding how to navigate the process is key. 
We look for these attributes in our new product development clients and mentor them to help them effectively narrow the gap from mind to market, then pave the path to profit. In fact, to learn more how to navigate these steps in determining this new idea that you have for a new product, in other words, market viability, you can reach out to us at inventpromoteprofit.com. That's inventpromoteprofit.com. Thank you. There you go. What an amazing talk on a very important topic. It's been my pleasure to share this episode with you. And this is just one example of how you can get one step closer to becoming a conduit to your can do it. Remember, no matter what you're embarking on in life and business, it's really about how you respond or react to everyday situations. And this can help you navigate your way to success. From this day forward, if it is to be, it really starts with you to choose to make the rest of your life the very best of your life. Thanks to each of you for listening today. And if you haven't had a chance to leave a review on our podcast, we greatly appreciate that as well. That's it for today. And I look forward to our next episode. Till then, onward and upward.